welcome back to another episode of Slightly Entertaining. I feel like it's been a while since I've been in the studio recording. I know, it has been a while for us, not that they're going to know the difference. Yeah, know the difference, but we've had uni and all that kind of stuff. Caught up a little bit on yep. life. Yep, so today, what do you have to do? Well, today's all about world records. Okay. Right? We're going to be breaking some world records. Have you ever tried to break a world record? I mean, not seriously. I had like, someone gave me, I think for my birthday or something, like the Guinness World Records, like the board, it's not, it's not a board game, well it is a board, board game, game yeah. but you have to like try and break, and oh. I think I tried it once, but it was like lame stuff, like you can hold a table tennis, no, a ping pong ball and like a Did you ever or... break any records? I don't think so. Oh. Well, today that might change, that might change. and we're going to try and set our own unique, slightly entertaining record yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, But first, the national today. Yes. So, today is International Falafel Day. Oh. Which makes me want falafel. I don't think I... Really? Yeah. You've got to try it. I, do I, Do you think I'd like it though? I don't, I don't think you'd dislike it. No, I think you like it. What like, is it? What is falafel actually? I don't, I don't actually know. What no, it is. it's just like some sort of like vegetable or something, a little dish that they make. Oh. It's, like, it's good. Okay. You just got to try it. Okay. When so, you know, you know. All right. Um, but today is also Superman Day. Superman. Superman. Oh, Superman. <laughs> da, 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 da. Who the hell is Superman? <laughs> I didn't hear that. Uh, I just heard Superman. You know, logical Superman. thinking. Um, so I have some fun facts about Superman okay, or DC yeah. Comics, actually. Yeah. Um, so Comic Stands was partly inspired by The Dark Knight. So Comic Stands. Is oh, yeah, the font. font. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I've heard that before. I don't know why. Probably. It's yeah. in the name, kind yeah. of, Comic Stands. Um, so DC was originally called Detective Comics, which is oh, DC. Like DC. Yeah. Um, DC Comics is owned by Warner Brothers. Which, I did know Yeah, that, most yeah. people probably knew. Wonder Woman was originally named Suprema. Okay. It's like Superman, Suprema, I Suprema. guess. Yeah. Wonder Woman has a better ring. Mm. And then Batman was originally blonde. That does not work. It does not. <laughs> I you cannot picture it, can you? Black. He's like an all black suit and he just has blonde hair. Like, imagine that. There's a contrast, maybe, you know? You know. Um, yeah. And then another thing. So Guinness World Records Day. Okay, yeah. It's actually the 16th of November. Oh. So we're a little bit early. <laughs> a little bit early, just yeah. Just a bit. Um, but I thought I mentioned that as well because yeah, that is a yeah. national today. Fair enough. We're, we're just celebrating early. Yeah. Like Christmas in July, but Guinness World Records in June. June. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, do you feel like getting some records? Yeah, let's, let's start. Whoosh. Okay, so we kind of lied. We're not actually getting into records just yet. We okay. are going to talk a little bit about them. Oh, I wanted okay. to ask you two things. A, did you ever have the book of the Guinness World Records? No, but I did like in our primary school library, like read through them. I, I, never I, I remember just going through all the records. Like I, I read every single page. I loved it. It was like I religiously. I, I don't think I ever owned one, but I definitely remember reading them. Reading them. They were yeah. so good. And then did you ever watch the show Officially Amazing? I think so. Like, wait, describe it to me. It was literally was it ABC. Something, ABC yeah. something. It was my sister and my favorite thing in the world. We'd always watch it. We like fell in love with like the characters and the presenters and stuff it was so good maybe if you show me like yeah i'll put i'll put a clip in right now this is officially amazing i'm ben chires and we have been scouring the globe to bring you the fastest longest highest strongest Youngest and weirdest world records we can get our sticky hands on. It was the best. I remember watching something about world records, but I don't know if it was. Like that. officially amazing is like the officially trademark amazing. of the world records. It was like yeah, actual... I feel like I. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so growing up, I loved world records. I loved looking at them, mm. imagining that I could break them, even though I obviously can't. Mm. Like I remember one. I was watching this lady. She like bent over, like her legs over her head, and was putting eggs in like egg cups. And oh. I was like, oh yeah, with practice I could do it. <laughs> Anyways, do you want to hear some of the most popular records? Oh, uh, yeah. All that's that kind of stuff? Yeah. So we've got most career goals football. To give you one guess of who that could be. Wait, that's so, like, boring, though. This is, like, the Hall of Fame kind of, like, oh, okay. Guinness World Records from the website. Who has the most career goals in football? Ronaldo? It's actually Pele. Oh, that was my second guess, Pele. Yeah, so it's Pele, but Ronaldo has the most goals in men's international. Wait, so I was, like... So, you know, you were close, right. but not quite. Yeah. Um, and I think short of swimming. I'll oh. give you a guess. How short do you think? Is it, is it over one meter? No. 74. 62.8. Close. So you're close. Um, yeah, so she's from India. Oh. And, yeah, very short. Well, and then go. the tallest man. Tallest woman. Oh, tallest, tallest woman. woman. I remember seeing her on Officially Amazing. She was on that show. 2.8 something. Two 
like 280 centimeters. Yeah. She's actually 215 centimeters. Oh, okay. I overshot it. <laughs> <laughs> overshot a little bit, but that's still pretty tall. Yeah, that's still pretty tall. Um, and then tallest man. Tallest man, 280. 280. So this is the tallest man ever in yeah. like history. Yeah. Is 270. Ooh. So no one's ever actually hit 280. Hit 280. So that's your goal. I will, yeah. You will one day. Me. Um, oldest person ever. How old do you think they were? 136. 122 years. Oh, you just get over shooting them. I have too high expectations. Yeah, you've got society. too much faith in the world yeah. um but yeah so she's That's from so france um, oh really yeah and she died in 1997 oh. it's interesting yeah so you know it's fun little world records but i yeah. think what's more fun is actually breaking them ourselves yeah let's do some ourselves no what would be your like world record that you'd what break? would be my world record like for that like an abnormal like body part or something like, oh, something like normal like you know like unique to your like, tallest person on this note, oh um um Worst foot ten. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have part. a friend who's probably got it worse than you. Really? Yeah. Even my 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 foot ten from camp. Yeah. Oh. Hers has okay. stayed. It has oh, persisted. No. Yeah, I would contest. Yeah, that mine record. kind of fades away. Hmm. I'd say your rec- world record would be the smallest bladder. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> I can also. Uh, I have to pee so many times. <laughs> smallest bladder. Yeah. Yeah. What would yours be? I don't know. Biggest what? nerd. Probably. Anyway, no, that's the... not true. I say fattest feet on a, on a female. <laughs> Man toes. Manliest toes on a female. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Let's get to doing some ourselves. Alrighties. So, first world record that we're breaking today is, and um, for those who listen, maybe watch today. Like, we're trying to commentate and stuff, but yeah. you'll definitely Just get you really more. have to see. Yeah. You'll get more from watching. Um, It's the most socks put on in 30 seconds in 30 seconds so the record that's not a lot is of time 28 record is 28 individual socks yep so it's like one a second almost <laughs> so we're, wait we're, how do you okay we're going to start with one sock on our foot just for um hygiene purposes yeah, and also so you don't have to see our feet i know my feet have a world record <laughs> new, new world record no one wants to see that <laughs> okay do you want to go first um sure I'll, I'll let you grab one sock as like to start you know you've oh, got okay. like one ready Started. That was right, probably ready? not the right time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ah, that's so thick. Oh, not a good option. Well, she's she's she's, she's really struggling. Just, she's just she's just. Do I have to put it on properly? No, I you that? can just put them on. But um, they're so thick. She's really struggling. She's picking a bad so... bad socks, which is wasting valuable seconds opening them up. She's gone for a long sock and then a short sock, which I don't know if that's the best. I'm practice. just picking randomly. I'm <laughs> You've not... got ten seconds left. They literally don't fit on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone else has got fat feet. No. <laughs> See, she's. I think. I think my toes wait. are literally. Stop! 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 I'm counting this on that one. <laughs> that was quite a poor effort from you. Yeah, no, I can't. I physically can't put it on. I'll show you how it's done. I, I have can... to open the sock up. We do a count at the end because there's. Definitely enough still left for me to break. So you want me to just leave my yeah. my toes are suffocating in here? Okay. Okay, ready? ready? I'm ready. And go. How long is it? Thirty seconds. Yeah. That's not fair. You're picking the small ones. Pick various you ones. The no, ones. I made it interesting by picking various. I'm ones. going for the big ones later. No, I made mine interesting. See, guys, I made it random and interesting. The whole point. I'm trying to break a world record here. Is that not the point of the episode? No, you're still supposed to grab random ones. I bet the record breaker grabbed random ones. I'm sure they all had regulation. Record breaking sucks. <sighs> Stop. Okay. Okay. Let's do a count. Okay. Let's just show, show our feet for the <laughs> camera. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let it be known, I picked random ones. I was picking. You were picking all the small ones. Because I was being tactical. We're trying no. to break a world record. Okay, well, if it was tactical, I'm making one interesting because we're mm. an entertaining podcast. All right. Okay, one. one. Two. Two. What if I just stretched out all my stuff? Three. Three. Four. Oh, no. <laughs> Five. Oh, uh, oh. Six. Six. You got more than I thought. I have seven. Okay, I've got seven, oh. eight, nine socks. I think we should have a point system for the types of socks that you put. I think. I put on the thickest sock. I put on. 
We should have thought about Four that. Four long socks. Did I say? A thick one and a small one. Did I say one. we're trying to make the most entertaining world records today or we're trying to break world I'm records? I'm doing it for the We're audience, trying to break world I'm, records. I, I think that I should get extra points because I put tougher ones. Well, let's just say I won that one. But I made it interesting. Didn't and didn't become close to the world record, by the way. Which was oh, yeah, like 28. <laughs> seven. <laughs> in 30 seconds. That's that crazy. Means, wait, surely there's like a, a They would have had them like or laid like out. Someone, like someone helping them. Like, yeah, opening. it would have been. Like someone. Do you want to try? With... Like me handing you the small socks. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. We'll try it like that. Put on a timer for 30 seconds. We'll see how far we get. This chili one can be the end. But I'll, I'll give it to you like, I'll give it to you like this. Like, and I'll pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait. I'll, gi- to. I'll give it 35 seconds. So that five seconds I can move away from the phone. Okay. Get ready. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? So five, four, three. <laughs> okay. I mean, we're moving with pace. Ah! <laughs> pull it on! Pull it on! <laughs> My face! I feel like I I need a bigger one. We've got 10 more seconds. We've got 10 more seconds. <laughs> So we've broken our world record. 11, 12, 13. Solid effort. That's better. <laughs> Solid effort. I don't know if they're official count. Official count. Oh, but we gave I didn't even get crap. the first one on properly. All right, on to the next one. Whoosh. So our next world record, it's most Jenga blocks removed in one minute. In one minute. The record is 33. 30. Yeah. Um, it's like this entire thing was removed. I don't think I could do that on time. No. Anyway, so we're going to go until either it collapses or... Well, so just <laughs> it's going to be early for me because I always pick the ones that are stuck. All right. I just have a really good skill of picking the ones that are always stuck. So that's one skill. Uh, as weakness. in, like, you know what I mean? Um. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Solid attempt. That was a solid attempt. Not close to 30, but you know, I'll take it. Let's count. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16. 16. I'll take 16. Halfway ish there. That's not bad. I bet I'm going to get like four. Whoosh. Okay. All right. Keisha's go. Let's see if uh, she can overcome all obstacles. Yes. Beat, at least beat 16. Okay. Or don't, because I want to win. That's true. At the moment, I am winning. Okay. But um, okay. Okay. let's see if you can beat 33. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Two, one. Okay, I'm not gonna compromise. Right. I Let's think see. I can do better That's than you. Good. Is this one out as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's count. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 18. 18. Oh, Yay! Good job. See, maybe it's just that I play with Jenga rules too hard. So when mm. I play, I struggle with no rules. Well, I'm fine. That was fun. I won. Whoosh. All right. Next one. This will be a quick one. It's the loudest clap. Loudest clap. I okay. think it's 113 decibels. 113. And look, I have a very loud clap. That's my like special skill. I don't think I, I, I do. I clap loud. I don't think All right, I do. Right, let's go you first then. Do you, are you going to give me a secret to the technique on how to clap loud or not? No. Okay. We also okay. have a sound decibel reader here. Currently, we're talking, for reference, we're talking at about 70 decibels. Okay. That's achievable. 130, yeah. Well, this is when I'm right here. How far away True. was this? I don't know. Like, Let's I feel like it in the middle. In the middle. All right. Headphone listeners, beware. She's warming the hands. Think about the resonance chamber. That's what I'll give you. Okay. It didn't even go up. That was a, it didn't even go up. That was a warm up. Okay. No 
wait. Okay. <laughs> that went to 51. Okay. Let me try one, one more, more with the different technique. 50. Ow! So you're going about 50. 50. All right. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Ready? 61. Oh, I'll take 61. 61. So 113 is like loud. What is 130 dB loud? Comparable to a military jet aircraft taking off. That is a really loud. That is really loud. Well, they gave it a good crack. Ours was like moderate. Normal conversation, dishwasher, moderate rainfall. <laughs> That's our level clap. Whoosh. Our next record is tallest donut stack in 30 seconds, which okay. is 10 donuts. 10 donuts. So, so we have 12. 12 here. So like Hands are washed. We, if we were to yeah. break this world record, this whole box is in a stack. But they look unstable. As in like, look how bumpy they are. So how are you supposed to stack it? We'll give it a go. Okay. You know what? Let's try. Okay, ready? ready? Your 30 seconds starts now. One. Two. She's going off well. Three. Oh, looking a little, a little lopsided. But it's okay. Oh, oh, oh! Mm. Leaning Tower of Pisa over here. I think the important to this is get a good base, the first couple of donuts. Oh! I don't think I started with she's, the... she's leaning over. Will she have to do a couple of resets? Uh oh. How long do I have? Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm counting that. Well, you got. It stood. Semi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight-ish because it did fall. I over. counted it as eight. That's harder than it looks. Yeah. I know my hands are all cinnamon. Okay. Keisha's going. Okay, disadvantage. I have to cross over, but that's fine. Ready? Yeah. Go. Two. Looking good so far. Mm. The cinnamon should be fine. Oh. We're already leaning. We're already leaning. Are we? I can see a lean. Oh, literally, I can't see from this angle. Looking pretty solid, though. No. I'm unstable. <laughs> Which way? There you go. She's fixed it up. She's fixed it up. She's got five seconds left. Apparently equal with me. No! Not quite equal with me. Oh my god. One more. Oh no, no. You're done. You're done. Ah! Yeah. That does last one doesn't count. Okay. That was 32 seconds. So eight as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, yeah. I'll say you won that one because mine did fall over. <laughs> Yay! But I prepped the donuts for you. <laughs> I can see how it's wonky. <laughs> Whoosh. So this segment, last little, no, second last record that we're breaking. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do most M&Ms eaten in 60 seconds. With, with chopsticks. chopsticks. Which is really hard. We were it's, trying yeah. it before. It's like, I don't know. Okay, no, I got one. I don't know if I'm going side tactic or ah. like squish it in a sandwich. Sort of yeah, tactic. we'll see. Anyway. We're going to keep it in the middle of the table for equal distance. Okay. So sure. I like to like lean over. Yeah. Okay. Wait, are we doing it at the same time? No, we'll do one. Oh, okay, one. okay. You've yeah. got to count. Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. I'm captain. Nine. You're halfway there. Three times. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's still thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. That's fourteen. Oh, fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, three seconds left, two, 20. Mm. 20. That's good. That's solid. That's good though. I don't know if I can. Full and solid chocolate. I don't have to do that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Let me finish chewing. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no, catch up. Do you want to give it a one, two, three. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Yeah, my bag is loaded up with snacks and different foods. Squeeze into this tiny shirt, my big bag has no room. Big bag, 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 big bag. Doing a bit, you've got four seconds, 18. 19. Stop. <laughs> Did you get it in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> well, we tied. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's hard. But it's kind of fun. Like, I feel like I can do it now. Like, I've just got, like, a like a strategy to, like, pick up M&M's. Whoosh. 
All right. The last record we're going to attempt to break, world record that we're going to attempt to break, um, is the fastest talker. Mm-hmm. We're going to insert a little clip of the world's fastest talker. Okay. We read the Hamlet soliloquy, which is 260 words in under 23 seconds. Under to- That's pretty what? fast. What the heck? That's like, what's that? No, I can't do the maths. Move on. No, let's, take, <laughs> let's take a listen. To me, that's a question with it. No one might stop listening to narrows of outrageous fortune or take arms against to see if troubles might posing in them to die to sleep no more by sleep to say we are the hurricane of a thousand natural shocks that flesh to dread the conspiracy and doubly wished to die to sleep to sleep a chance dream out there's a referee in that sleep death will you become the shift off this mortal coma's gives pause there's the spectrum is climbing to life for this and constant time the pressure on the problems continue the pangs with slides love the lost lay the incidents and the spurns of patient matter that would ace me some was questioning with a bug rug who had fires better gotten serious that are just signed at the end of the covered country for no terms puzzles the world makes it brothers as we haven't found you enough this constant demand covers it on this native views solution sequel to pick us up and a great pith moment this guard Turn around and lose of action. So what we're going to do, we picked out different, our respective, you know, pieces. Mm-hmm. Keisha wants the real authentic experience. She's going to read another Shakespearean soliloquy mm-hmm. from Romeo and Juliet. I, on the other hand, want to give myself the best chance. So I'm going to be reading um, The Start of Lose Yourself by Eminem. <laughs> I can't do that as well because I actually know the lyrics. So I'd be able to say it faster if I was just like My thinking it. is we're, all, we're both going to do 260 words, mm-hmm. so, you know. It's fair. My thinking is though, because yours is like a song, so it has like a bit of like rhythm to yeah. it. It could be easier. That's what I was thinking. Give myself- well, and again, once again, I'm doing it for the entertainment purpose. So mm. I also can't really talk fast, anyways. Okay, ready? Ready? Go. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. His palm is sweaty, knees weak, arms heavy, his arm is sweaty, already mum's forgetting, he's nervous, but himself, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs when he keeps on forgetting. When he wrote down the whole rock, the crowd goes loud, he opens his mouth, the words come out, he's joking now, however, he's joking now. <gasps> the clock without jumps up, over blouse, snap back to rally, open his rabbit, he opens his rabbit, he jokes, he's so mad. But he won't give up that easy, no, he won't have it, he knows he'll go back to his rope, so don't matter, it's stuck, he knows he's broke, he's so stagnant, he knows. When he goes back to the mobile home, that's when it's back to the lab again, yet this all rap city, better go capture this moment, I hope it don't pass, and you better lose yourself in the music, the moment you, own it, you never let it go, you only get one shot, you know, not miss your chance to blow this opportunity, comes with a lifetime, yeah. You better lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it, you better love it, let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss chance this opportunity comes into the lifetime yet you better his soul's escaping through this hole that escaping with what is mine for making me make me king as we move forward to a new world ah uh, you were 37 seconds i'll take that that's pretty good i probably skipped a couple of words quite, yeah. quite a few <laughs> and but, it, like smooshed them together <laughs> but the vibe was there the vibe was there and if you heard in the guy like he didn't sound very clear like you ready for your shakespearean <sighs> channel the that's a lot of words i don't think i can't i can't talk fast unless it's from my brain <laughs> Well, let's see. Okay. Let's see how you go. Ready? I can't read fast. That's a problem. Okay. Ready, set, go. The software light through yonder window races the east. Julian said the sun arrives there, sun and kills the envious moon who's already sick and pale with grief that thou her maid art fair for the more than she or be not her maid since she is envious in her vestal livery but is sick and green and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. Is my lady, oh my love, oh she knew where she was. She speaks yet yeah, she says nothing. What of that? Her eyes discourse. I will answer her. I'm too bold. Tis not she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven having some business do entreat her eyes to twinkle the spheres. So they return, what if her eyes were there, they're in her head. Um, the brightness of her cheek would shame those stars and daylight doth a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through an airy regent stream so bright that birds would sing and they were not nigh. See how she leans her cheek upon her head. Oh, I wore that glove upon that head that I might touch that cheek. Oh, speak bright angel for Arthur, as glorious as the night be over my head. Is winged messenger of heaven unto the uh, white upturned wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze down on her where she bestrides. The lazy popping clouds and sails upon bottom of it. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore out not Romeo? 55 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these words are not English. Mine was way harder. That's why I wanted no, no, to go is, with the MDM. It's, it's not, like, this isn't proper sentences, so I don't know what I'm saying. I must say, the hard. hardest thing is remembering to breathe. I don't know if you had in mind. I had a big oh, no. gasp for air. I just, well, I had space to breathe while I was trying to figure out what <laughs> I was saying. I like it. that was not English. <laughs> it didn't sound right. I Anyways, it. so it didn't come close to that one either. It's all right. So I'm kind of sad. We didn't get to break the world record. We tried all that. <gasps> we tried our best, guys. Um, we're, to be fair, we're not. We haven't trained our whole life for this. True. We just rocked up. These people have probably trained their entire life to true. break that world record. They probably so. stacked donuts like morning, noon, and night. Kind of. Exactly. They don't have yeah. life. We exactly. have life. But we want one world record to be established today. And you know, you know what it's going to be though. What? The world's greatest podcast. Oh, good that's one. our record. That is our record. That we're gonna break. But the second record that we're going to oh, break yeah. is our own flatly entertaining record. You oh, know, one here yeah. at the podcast. Okay, yeah. Because, you know, what do you do on podcasts? You, you talk. You talk. Yeah. So we're going to see who's the best yapper. Oh, God. The world's yeah. best yapper. Okay. Each going to give each other one topic. Yeah. And we're if you speak. give me a topic that I will genuinely yap about, I can yap about it. If you give me something I'm not interested in, I might not be able to yap about it. We'll see. We've got to try and give okay. each other something substantial. Okay. All right. Do-do-do-do. 
Okay, we're back. Okay. We're going to do it. So how it's going to work, I give Keisha a word a, or like, yeah, a word and she's got to talk as long as she can. I'm going to be timing, Okay. you know, engaging the audience, making something interesting out of it. Okay. And then when you stop yapping, that's your attempt over. Okay. Okay. Ready? I'm nervous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Your word is like stationary, but like not like still, but like, like pens okay, and yeah. pencils and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Stationary. Yeah. Ready? Go. Okay, so I was actually thinking about this. In life, you have different stages of stationery that you go through. Basically, when you're a child, you start off with Smiggle. The Smiggle stationery, you have like the different colors, the green, blue, orange, pink, purple based on girl boy stationery. You have like the erasers, the pencils, the little like popper topper things. Um, then they smell different stationery. And then when you get a little bit older, you start going, you want to be a bit more trendy, so you start getting typo stationery, right? You get like the fancy clicky pens, you get like the notebooks and the notepads with like the different folders on it, right? Then you get to, sometimes people have like the aesthetic stage of stationery, so you go to like Kiki K, this is true, this is what I think. So it's like Kiki K stationery, you have like the minimalist look, like you know, whatever, like, and it's like kind of pink, pretty, whatever, so you have like that nice pencil case, you know, those clear pencil cases or like the mesh one, and then you get the Kiki K books and then the journals and the planners and whatever. Then you start getting more minimalist and you go to like Moody stationery, you get those like clicky pens with the different colors and they're like nice and inky, or like a paper book, so you've got like the green book and it looks really nice and uniform. And then you get to the stage where you just don't care, you go to office and you get the stationery, where it's just like a book. And then in like high school, yeah, you may like you said, you may want to wrap it. Then you just get to the point where you don't want to wrap your books, you just buy a random book from office and that's what you go. And then the different notebooks you have basically, right? You have the graph paper that you always use for maths. And I don't know why we use it in primary school because you don't need it when not wrapping. And then you have the lined paper, like the 2.5 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 10 millimeter, whoever knows. I remember when I was small, my mom always made me get like a small one so that I could practice writing properly in the book because 10 was like, you're not like four years old, you can write properly cheaper, right? So you go to office work, and then you buy those books. And then when you go to office work, you see those other aisles with all the fancy stationery, and then you want to get those, but they're way too expensive. And it's like the same kind of styles like the Kiki ones, so like I might as well get that one because it's better. And then you go into like the pen styles, and you go through and you try all the pens at office work, or like the different colored paper. And I'm like, do I want an inky pen or do I want a ballpoint pen? And I'm like, what color pen do I want? The blue pens make you remember better, right? But it's like writing in blue pen because sometimes black pen you just need something normal. Then you go, then you write the black pen, and you buy those. And it's like, do I need colored pencil pencils? I don't know. So then you get like the, oh, what's the brand? Cl- pa- whatever they're brand is. You get like the colored pencils and pens, and then you use those in class, and then you never use it again. You're wasting so much on stationery. Like I have a whole box full of stationery. That's it. Like I've got like Texas, like a movie pencil. Do you remember when we had those calligraphy pens? They were super trendy, and now they're just sitting there. I don't even use them because now all I use is just a black blue red pen. Maybe like a ruler. I don't even need a ruler. I use a pack, like a ruler calculator, blue stick, everything. I don't even need a blue stick anymore. So I literally just want a pack of pen. Literally one pen. I don't even care what color. A ruler, calculator if I need it, and that's it. And like a pencil and eraser. But who even uses pencils anymore? Because when we were little, we used to use pencils in kindergarten. Because like if you make a mistake, you can erase it. But then you like transition into pen. Some people get their pen license. I never got my pen license in year five. Everyone was saying the other class got their pen license. I never got my pen license in year five. But I just switched to a pen. And it's like you can't make a mistake, but you can use white. I remember we were all addicted to white out. You get like the tape white out, or you get like the inky white out. But the only problem with inky white out is when you put it, you put it for it to dry. And I was so impatient, so I always wrote over it, so it was smudging because it was still wet. But then you get sick of using white out because you like can't be bothered. And teachers always say don't use white out, so you just cross it out. They look really messy. And then your pen runs out of ink, so you can't talk anymore. Oh my god, taking a running out of ink. This movie pen is such a, like a, what's the word? Like a waste, like a, um, I forgot what the word is. What is the word is? But it's like you have to kids, they run out of ink so easily. You put the white ink set every time. And so you buy like three in like the value pack, but then they run out anyway. So then you end up just going for like the cheaper pens and. Uh, yeah. I, I feel oh like God. that's enough. I feel like that's enough. I feel like I could go on for more, but that was four minutes and you could have kept talking. <laughs> I so many times I wanted to jump in as well and join the, the conversation. The fact is, all of that is true. I have been <laughs> thinking about that when you said stage. I was like, let me share you my story about how the timeline is. It not true? We go from smiggle to so time true. Mode, like kicking and moody, and then you just can't be bothered. It's, I'm, I'm, I can't be bothered. I used to be so into stage. <laughs> Literally, that's what I'm saying. I like loved you get, it, like, and then yeah, like the highlighters. You make like a thing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I feel like I could. That's a solid. That was literally four so, minutes. Oh, see you guys. So, um, is yours like? I'm a yapper. Is mine broad like that? Okay, no. I'll give you. Okay, I'll give you the broader yeah. version of it. So right. my initial word was going to be piano, but oh, yeah. I'm going to give you instruments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, instruments. Like, there's so much I could talk about because, like, I've been doing music since I can remember. I started my first instrument that I played was piano when I was like, I don't know, maybe in year kindergarten to year two, and so that I loved it. But I ha- used to get these like books, right? And in the books, it was like the, the basic drills, you know, and I worked through them so fast. Like I jumped, I had the green level, the red level, the white level, the black level. I don't even know what other levels, but so I went through those levels in probably like a year. And then I like maxed out my instrument, like, you know, kind of learning. And then after that, the next instrument I learned was recorder. I went to primary school. So my recorder, I was the best in the class. I don't know why. It's just something I love learning instruments. I think it's a challenge. And also music and instruments. Learning instruments is so good for the brain. Because it can definitely, you know, um, like train, tra- train all those things. I won't go into the whole like, science behind it. Yeah. I love that kind of stuff. But with instruments specifically. Um, so you've got your recorder. We had our recorder work. It said there's different levels. I had like black karate, black belt. So I have got black belt. And I wish I had taekwondo, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. I got black belt in recorder. So, you know, I, you know, top the class. I remember playing some of the rainbow. Oh, class. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, and so that was kind of interesting. I feel like everyone had that one instrument they had to learn. In most public schools, I believe it was recorder. Um, but yeah, um, in like private school, you do like more like flute and like that stuff. So when I moved to private school, then I did flute, pick up flute. Well, I actually started with piano. Mm. I was doing piano um, in year six, but I hated my teacher. I don't know why. I just like him. His name was scary. I'm not going to expose his name, but his name was kind of scary. <laughs> anyway, so piano, I think the thing I really stopped me with piano, so I loved um, playing songs and playing songs that I knew. And even one hand was fine, two hands, if it was chords in one hand, then you were playing the other hand, it was fine. Yeah. But when you add the foot, when you add the pedal, that was too many ones for me to, to, to you know, yeah. deal with. So I was like, okay, that's enough for me. I'm moving on to another instrument, flute.
if we come to the typical instrument, we're talking about hard, like difficulty, the instrument, you've got your you've got your clarinet, just in the wind instrument kind of realm. You've got saxophone, you've got the tuba, imagine a huge tuba. In our band, you have this little girl, she's so cute, but she decided to play the tuba. All this, so she had to lug this big package, like, you know, big case for instrument of a tuba. All the classical, yeah, so it's like probably like over half a high. That's how tiny she was. I felt so bad, and like, I didn't even know she had the lung capacity, because, you know, play tuba, play flute, play any wind instrument, you've got to have such a big lung capacity to like blow the notes through. Yes. And so I don't know how she did it, but one other, like, hilarious instrument I'll never forget is a baritone saxophone. We had one music teacher in our school, and I think she just was out of practice, she hasn't played in a long time. And so we were all, you know, playing our beautiful piece on all the little instruments, and then um, we see this goose squawking in the background, this hog, I was like, rah, 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 which is this teacher, mind you, who trying to play on saxophone. Something was wrong, there's so many things with instruments, like, um, technical things, like with reading instruments, like saxophone, weapons, like, not the reading, it's not wet enough, it's like, not in the right position, you want to get the right sound, you don't have the right breath, you want to get the right sound. So, I don't know what's going on, but that was the funniest thing, I could not keep a straight face. Um, anyway, so, like, can I record a flute? Now moving on to guitar, we're learning guitar, we're learning ukulele, which is very different instruments altogether. Like, I'm thinking about the resonance, thinking about all the physics behind the um, musical instrument with the guitar. You've got, um, like, different strings, different lengths, where you press them, they're going to resonate at a different wavelength, which is a great sound, right? So, that's really interesting. Um, and I love with guitar, and even kind of getting back into it now, it's just the way you can play songs you know. Like, I'll always hear a song and be like, what instrument can I play that on? Oh, yeah, I can play guitar. What instrument? I can play it on flute. I can play it on piano. Mm -hmm. So, that's definitely why learning an instrument is such a good thing. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know, I'm probably boring you. Yeah. <laughs> 345. Yeah. Pretty close. I, I could have, I could have gone talking, for more, yeah. But then I didn't know if it was like instrumental music. Like I could go for We're music. certified yappers here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's all right. We like to talk. <laughs> we do like to talk. <laughs> Which is why I made a podcast for your benefit. <laughs> I'm talking. For our benefit. Yeah. Speaking out to each other. Oh well. Well, that was entertaining. That was entertaining. I feel like we could break the record for big, like best yapper. Oh, for sure. Because like I've seen people do it and they talk slow to try and stress it out. We you were talking the pace. fast. We were and that was me. Fast. Like that was me stopping myself. I was like, I'd probably yeah, everyone. Like, I know it's not, exactly. Like I, could, I had so. I much could have read it on about the different types of stationery if I you like. I, I didn't know. Is music part of instruments? Does it count? I don't know. I feel like it does. Like, I was like hoping you'd go into like in an orchestra. You have the wind section. You have oh, the, I could you definitely. Have the, yeah, that. I, I was like, I was that. like, string section. You got, you had the string quartet in a string quartet. <laughs> like I was like, where do you get around? I could have done that. that. But then anyway. again, on to be interesting. True. True. podcast. You know, That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, you gave me stationery, so I did my best. <laughs> you did. No, we did good. I think we did good. Yeah. Certified yappers. Certified yappers. Yeah. Yeah, you first. So that's it for world records. I hope that was entertaining. I think we did well. I think we gave it a good crack. Now let's eat those donuts. This is DJ Cumin and MC Key signing out. Good night.